Sani Tat, the original sterile tattoo kit. You're watching the full instructional video of five steps to a sterile tattoo. What you're going to need is the Sani Tat original sterile tattoo kit, which you can find at sani-tat.com. Now what you're finding here is you're going to see the kit, you're going to open it up and you're going to find the sterile drape and you're going to find the PDI Super Sani cloth. That's basically a cloth that you're going to use to sterilize your area. Please use gloves with these because they're not very good for the skin and we don't want these used on anybody's skin. But for surfaces, they're fantastic at killing germs. And so what you're going to do is make sure everything is completely wet and visible to, to, to the eye wet and then you're going to uh, go ahead and let that dry for a full two minutes look at the back of the packet the back of the packet of this actually tells you how to use this product correctly the next thing is a sterile drape this is a pretty large sterile drape that has a plastic center that'll keep all sorts of fluids off of you uh, your your equipment and off the client uh, you go ahead and secure this with the paper tape that we have uh, included in the kit. On to step two, sterilizing the skin. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need the Chlora Scrub Swab Stick. You're going to get two of these in the kit. One should be plenty for most tattoos that you do, but for larger tattoos you might need to use two of these. Chlora Scrub has chlorhexidine gluconate and isopropyl alcohol. So you don't need to sterilize the skin before using this product. Go ahead and grab it, pull on the two tabs that are on the very top of it, and you'll watch the stick kind of pop up through the middle. Grab the stick and go ahead and start applying to the skin. Now you can use a circular motion or you can use an up and down motion, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that you do it for 30 seconds. Here's why. As a nurse in the hospital, before we do any puncture of the skin, we use this and it continues to fight bacteria for 48 hours in the skin. This is a really important step here in this process in the system so you can get this skin sterile and it'll stay sterile throughout the tattoo and for 48 hours after the tattoo as long as you use the transparent film that we have provided in the kit. Okay, this step really isn't a step, and it's basically you need to prep the skin uh, any way that you normally would when you put the transfer on. Shaving the area, make sure you shave it much larger than you normally think you would, just because you need to be able to put that transparent film on it later. But this will not mess up the chlora scrub process. Go ahead and put the transfer on as you normally would. All right, we're on to step three. Step three is an easy one. Uh, we're tattooing using the extra large sterile paper towels. This really is no different than what you already do, except for the fact that these towels are sterile, which isn't a big deal. It's really more of a perceived value to the client that they see something come individually wrapped, individually sterile. The minute you pull these out, they're not going to be sterile anymore. Now you're going to get two of these per pack, and you're going to get two packs. These are huge, but they can be cut down. They can actually be ripped in half, quarters, eights, however you want, and then they can be put aside on your tray and you can decide, you know, how you want to do this. It really is no different than the way that you currently do things. Now, you're probably going to think these are awfully thin feeling and uh, they don't seem like they're as absorbent as the paper towels you currently use, but that's simply not the truth. Give these a try. I think you're really going to like them. I believe the absorbency and the tattoo artists that have, that have used these also agree with me. Watch here as he's packing this ink and when he goes to wipe this you're going to see that the, all the ink comes right up. The real benefit to this is how it feels when you rub on the skin. The client's going to love this. to step four. Step four is the antimicrobial wipes. Now these wipes are called benzoclonium chloride, which is also BZK. BZK is much easier to say, and you're going to get about 15 of these in a kit 
five of which is for the tattoo artist to use during tattooing, ten of which will go home with the client so they can keep their tattoo clean throughout the healing process. Open these up like any wipe. They're basically Bactine. Bactine, BZK, same thing. What you're going to do is you're going to use these anytime the client goes out to smoke, goes to the bathroom, talks on the phone. The real benefit of these is it actually cleans the skin. It's known to kill MRSA, which is one of the largest, most dangerous superbugs of staph that there is. So these are great, and uh, you know they don't sting and they don't smell. Video number five transparent film dressing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk a little bit about it and the alcohol is important and I'll talk about that a little bit later and we don't provide that. Transparent film dressing is also called a non-occlusive dressing. A non-occlusive dressing is something that breathes. It lets your skin breathe but it will repel water and it'll keep moisture in. So what's very important about this is that you keep that skin below this absolutely dry. That's where the alcohol kind of comes in. You're going to need to take the alcohol, go around the tattoo and make sure that that area is free of hair, oils, anything that might cause this not to stick. It's very important that that area is extremely dry. If you're getting heavy bleeding through tattoo process, you really need to let that bleeding stop before you put this on or the blood will pool and almost blister inside of this. Now you're watching a technique here on how this tattoo artist puts this on the skin. He does prep the skin beforehand and as you notice there's a tight adhesion to this. This client can go and swim. They're going to sleep and not have friction, wear clothing and not get it soiled and this dressing can stay on for up to 72 hours. What's important is the chlorhexidine gluconate that we put on, the chloro scrub that we put on in step two only works if this stays on the skin and it'll only fight bacteria for 48 hours if this is on the skin that's why it's important that you learn your technique and how to get this on there you might want to use a couple and really practice and find your technique to make sure that this stays on the skin you also want to make sure that you have a somewhat of a medium stretch of the skin before you put it on so you have a full range of motion without binding or bunching once again, this is the most important part, that this stays on the skin. Your client is going to absolutely love this, and he's going to be able to show his friends his beautiful tattoo in three days completely healed.